Certain things go together really well. Horses and carriages, strawberries and cream, prunes and custard. Yeah. Duck and orange sauce, match made in heaven. Here we go, guys. This is going to be epic. So I have got two lovely duck breasts here. Now when it comes to duck, and I'm doing this kind of dish, I actually prefer to work with duck breasts. This is where my family and friends roll their eyes at me because they say, well, if you're Chinese, you use the whole of the duck. Yes, <laughs> but for other, uh, other recipes, for this one, I like the meat. Okay, so we go for the uh, duck breast. What we're gonna do is ever so slightly, lightly score the skin crisscross like so and this helps not what happens is when, when we're gonna we're gonna brown off the the duck breast and what happens if we don't score it is that the skin kind of shrinks and then it kind of folds up and starts to crush the meat and we don't want that this gives it a little bit of kind of wriggle room so the duck breast shouldn't, it's gonna curl up a little bit. Yeah, this is inevitable, but it's not gonna do it so much. Just gonna add a little bit to that. A little bit to that. Also, it's quite a nice kind of visual cue as well. And the third thing, which is possibly the most important thing is when we're adding the flavor to this, um, the flavor can actually seep in between the little cracks and get into the, into the skin and it gives it more access, more surface area, so you get a little bit more flavor. And as I've always said before, it's always about the flavor. So the next thing is to make up the flavor rub for the duck. So I'm going to put into this little glass ramekin a good pinch of salt, half a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. That's gonna give that lovely kind of warm aniseed flavor. A good grind of black pepper. and we're good to go. Right, so we're gonna give that a good mix and then we're gonna sprinkle it on top of our duck breasts, like so. And then with clean hands, obviously, we're gonna rub all this flavor into the duck. See how it's going into that little these score marks that we've put into it? And then we can actually use the duck to to mop up the rest of that flavor. Now this is where I'm gonna deviate slightly from my usual routine. Regular viewers will know that I usually use a wok of some description because woks are like the best things in the world. But today I'm gonna to be using one of these, which is not a table tennis bat. No, it's a cast iron griddle skillet because we're gonna start it off on the stove top, on the hob, and we're gonna crisp in that skin, and then we're gonna transfer it into the oven until it's just right. And when I mean just right, I mean slightly pink in the middle. Don't argue, that's the way it's gotta be. If it isn't slightly pink in the middle, if it's well done, we cannot be friends. Let's do this. Right, the first thing to do is to get our griddle smoking hot and then we can add a little bit of oil. Get that going. Okay, make sure we cover it otherwise the duck is going to stick. Right, that sounds like it's gonna be hot. So, we get our duck breast and we're going to put it down skin side and you need to hear that sizzle okay after about a minute what we can do is just turn it almost 90 degrees and then you get a bit of a crisscross skillet mark like so. So another minute like that. Then, look at that. We can turn it over. It's a nice 
nice coloration on that. And just sear the bottom flesh, the bottom part of the meat before it goes into the oven, just to seal it up a little bit, seal in that flavor. Now I've got the oven preheated to gas mark five, which is 375 degrees Fahrenheit and 190 degrees centigrade. And it's gonna go into the middle of that for 15 minutes. Right guys, on to the orange sauce. So what I've got here is a whole glass of orange juice. I'd say that's about 200, 250 mils. Not that important to get it exactly right. So we're gonna put that in this wok. And yes, I'm using a wok now. <laughs> um, and then just start to bring that up to the boil. And whilst we're doing that, we can add the other ingredients. dripping with flavour. Mm. Duck must be one of the best meats in the world. Happy to be associated with it being Chinese. Absolutely happy with that. The flavours we've put into it, that fire spice makes all the difference. It just crosses over into that kind of eastern sort of realm if you like. I mean, same with the sauce, we've added that little bit of fire spice to the sauce and the marmalade, the slightly bitterness contrast with the sweetness absolutely wonderful and it just works it really does there's a reason why certain things go together and this is one of these instances so you gotta try this guys because i guarantee you're gonna impress your family and friends this one is a showstopper as they say in certain shows <laughs> if you do please let me know how you get on in the comments below talking of which if you've liked this video give it a like Subscribe if you haven't and if you want to help me out, you can always donate through Super Thanks. Totally voluntary. I would rather you watch to the end of the video. That is my perfect scenario. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys. Bye.